Question number 33 on the 8th grade practice test for, algebra, uh, for math, I'm sorry. Uh, what is the slope of the line that passes through 613 and 1021? Uh, now, the question has that bold box again, which means they're giving you the formula. It says m, which is slope, is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. You should pay very close attention to the fact that that 2 and 1 on those numbers are below the letters, which means they are not squaring them. It's just a label. What it means is the second one. So I'm going to go ahead and take my two points and mark the x and y. x comes before y in the alphabet. Same is true in the coordinates. So here would be my x term. This would be my y. So x is uh, 6 and y is 13. Same here, x and y. This is the second time that I wrote y. This is the second time I wrote x. And these are the first times. Now they're marked up and labeled in a nice functional fashion. So I can use this. My y sub 2 would be 21 minus my y sub 1, which is 13, over my x sub 2, which is 10, minus my x sub 1, which is 6. So you can either do it in uh, 21 minus 13, enter, divide by thing. You can put it in as a fraction if you would like, which is what I'm going to be doing, because I tend to like put things in as fractions. Gives me a nice... Uh, simple and organized answer and your final answer will be 2. The thing that makes a lot of sense in this case since this test actually counts towards your grade is that if you write down and label the x and y's it makes it much easier to set up the equation. A lot of times people won't mark them up and then they'll just put anything anywhere and get some random answer. Take the few seconds it takes to label them on your actual paper and then make sure that you write down the equation, this 21 minus 13 over 10 minus 6 thing, or the formula filled out form, uh, before you go ahead and type in the calculator. That way you don't make some dumb mistake that will cost you points for no good reason. So be careful.